everybody, Finton here from Dams and Cloud. This week I wanted to do a year in review 2019 for G Suite and just look back at some of the major updates that Google uh, had for the product uh, in 2019. I think there were some really interesting updates. Uh, Gmail turned 15 and AppScript turned 10, so there were some sort of major milestones there for Google as well. And I think they put a huge amount of effort into a couple of core areas. They released a major new product. Uh, they released a lot of um, security or admin features that I want to talk about. And then they put a huge amount of effort into AI and kind of making AI more accessible to end users. So I think we'll cover security first. So there, there are three major updates when it comes to security. Google launched the uh, Google Advanced Protection Program for end users. And this is kind of aimed at end users that maybe have a heightened security requirement. So maybe politicians or people part of a political campaign, executives within, within companies or maybe celebrities. Um, and what it does is it adds additional layers of security to an account. And you can actually uh, subscribe or, or join the advanced protection program if you want and have these extra security layers added to your account. So that was one of the first ones. The other one is the new endpoint management. So what this allows um, is for admins to have desktop control or control over end users desktops uh, from within G Suite. And this endpoint control just gives and again, an additional layer of security or additional controls for administrators to be able to administer uh, the desktop applications that, uh, or the desktop computers that their employees are using to actually access uh, G Suite or Google's platform. And then finally, we had improvements to the admin security uh, panel. So the, sorry, the admin security center. And the admin security center was relatively new, but there's been two major updates. One, admins can now collaboratively analyze um, issues. So instead of maybe just themselves looking at uh, or analyzing a particular security threat or issue, they can actually um, collaborate with uh, a colleague in a different location um, on a particular security threat. So, so they can work on it together, which is great. And then they can also build in automations within the security center. So automated alerts or automated actions that can be taken when a particular security threat happens within the organization. Next, I wanna talk about some of the additional integrations and also the AI features. So one of the major updates that I loved that came this year was the integration with Microsoft Office. So within Microsoft Office now, um, you can actually, or sorry, within Google, you can actually edit Microsoft Office documents. So documents that are actually stored within Google Drive can actually be live edited. Um, Excel, PowerPoint, and, um, and Word can be edited and stored within Google Drive in the web browser. So you don't need now Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel in order to edit and, and live collaborate on these files. And I think that's been a huge update um, in terms of the capabilities of Google and those organizations that maybe still have legacy applications like Microsoft within the business. It will allow companies like that to uh, remove the cost of that from their business. And then secondly, we also had uh, dynamic emails. So dynamic emails actually allow you to essentially change dynamic or change emails. So when you get a, an email about a Google Doc, you can actually comment on the Google Doc from within, <laughs> you can actually comment on the Google Doc from, from within, the, uh, within the actual email without having to leave the application uh, and go into Google Docs. And then also finally, there were massive updates to the mobile applications as well. So improvements to the UI and also dark mode, which saves on battery in a lot of cases. I use it quite a lot myself. It's also better in the evening as well because I kind of find when it gets darker outside, it's actually nicer to kind of view and look at. So another major area was AI and Google is working really hard to bring a lot of artificial intelligence into its products on, on the sort of end user side. So rather than developers having to you know, develop these, these sort of integrations with AI, uh, they're trying to bring it to end users. So Smart Compose uh, came out. If you have used Smart Compose, uh, it's excellent. Google will actually predict what it thinks you, you want to write as you're kind of typing it. And it learns your language and how you talk or how you, you write emails. And I've found that absolutely fantastic. Great if you're on the phone, it, it sort of started on the phone and now it's come to, to desktop. 
and also Smart Compose is coming to Google Docs as well. So as you're typing within a Google Doc, it will predict what it thinks you, you, you want to say and make suggestions, again, around the type of language that you would use. So two excellent areas within the, the AI sphere. And then the final one for me anyway uh, that I found uh, a fantastic update was Google Voice. And this was the new product launch that Google had. Uh, it's been launched in 11 countries now, uh, including Ireland and the UK. And we have several customers who are actually the, the launch, one, some of the launch customers for Google Voice. Um, you know, some of, the, some of the features around Google Voice is, um, again, some of the AI technology being brought in there to work with spam control. You get transcriptions of all of your um, voicemails. But for me, the major benefit is that I can actually take my number with me. So I can sign into my number on my desktop, on my laptop, on my mobile device. Uh, or, or indeed um, on a desk phone if that's what I need. And so for personally for myself, as I'm traveling around, having access to a number that I can, that I can have anywhere, but that isn't necessarily tied to my mobile phone, like a mobile number, uh, is just absolutely fantastic. I think I'm excited to see what Google do over 2020 and beyond with Google Voice and, and how they really break apart the sort of old ways of doing things within the, the telephony industry. So that's it for me. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this week's update and, and my review of 2019. Uh, Google have done a blog post on, on this and I'll link to it in the description below. Let me know what your favorite updates were uh, for G Suite in 2019 in the comments below and if you think that I missed any out that were kind of major or important. Thanks very much, see you next week.